Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar Halach. And here's a brand new Halacha for you. And it's for Tuesday, 24th day of April, 9th day of ER. We're continuing on now with our list of things that do or do not need to be dipped in a mikvah when you buy them brand new from a non-Jewish store. You know that when you buy dishes brand new from a non-Jew, they need to be dipped in a mikvah before you're allowed to use them. So here we go. If you buy a can opener, that does not need to be dipped in the mikvah because it does not come in direct contact with the food. Same exact thing is true about a cake plate cover. Cake plate covers in general don't touch the cake and therefore they do not need to be dipped in the mikvah. A food chopper, yep, that should be dipped in the mikvah because it does come in contact with the food. If it's metal, then you would uh, make a bracha on that dip also. A cookie shaper, you know, the rabbis argue about that one. Most often it's coming in contact with uh, the raw cookie dough. That's when you shape cookies. And so it's not coming in contact with edible food. So a lot of rabbis say it does not need to be dipped in the mikvah, though there are some that say that you should dip it in the mikvah without a bracha. Uh, so to be safe, I guess you could just dunk that one in the mikvah. If you have a cooking uh, baking sheet, you know that the cookies are going to sit right on there, and uh, and if it's not a disposable one, then that also should get a dip in the mikvah. It comes in contact with the cookies, you know, when they're raw before they go in the oven, and also when they come out. So it's touching cookies. So yeah, it needs to be dipped in the mikvah. It's touching cookies when they're edible. Corkscrew uh, does not need to be dipped in the mikvah. It generally only comes in contact with the cork, and therefore no dunk in the mikvah is necessary. For those of you who eat corn in the cob with holders, you know these little things that you could hold so your hands don't have to touch the burning hot corn in the cob when it comes out of the pot, uh, they do come in contact with the corn somewhat, and when it's edible, and so yeah, they need a dip in the mikvah. The crock pot, if you use a crock pot, the outside piece, the one that never ever touches the food, but just holds the inner pot, so that outer one does not need a dip in the mikvah. The inside one, um, if it's made of metal, then yeah, you, you should give it a dip in the mikvah with a bracha. If it's not made of metal, then it might still need a dip in the mikvah, but not with a bracha. Uh, cutting board, usually they don't need to be dipped in the mikvah. They're usually plastic or wood, so no bracha, ne- no dip in the mikvah necessary. An egg brush uh, touches food when it's not edible, and therefore no dip in the mikvah necessary. Graters that grate food, they are most often metal, and they touch the food, so yeah, they need a dip in the mikvah with a bracha. Hot plate does not need to be dipped in the mikvah because it doesn't come in contact with food usually. Kiddush cups do need a dip in the mikvah because they uh, do come in contact with your wine, your grape juice, etc. So they need to be dipped in the mikvah when you buy them. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.